Hey everyone. So uh, thanks for thanks thanks to the people that filled out the form. Uh, <laughs> there are only six of you, but uh, at least you gave me some video ideas, I guess. Um, so what one thing that um, sort of was like interesting was um, two of you wanted to see uh, navigating a new city for internship and uh, wait. No, navigating a new city for internship um, and moving to the Bay Area and capitalizing on that experience, blah, blah, blah. So I think, I think that's like an easy video to make. Um, yeah, I, I didn't write anything beforehand, so this is just like stuff that's coming off of the top of my head. Um, but yeah, so I have a lot of experience with this because um, Almost all my internships, I moved to like a new city. Um, so first, I'll I guess I'll talk about the first few days of each of my internships and how I got acclimated to that, and then maybe we can draw some common themes. So um, my first big internship was at Yelp, and that was in San Francisco. And even though I was born in San Francisco, uh, I moved to LA when I was really little, so I didn't really get the chance to. I guess live in SF. So um, going there, I also knew nobody. So it was like a really fresh start, and I was honestly kind of scared. Uh, my mom like had some horror stories and seeing how people were getting killed and robbed, but that's like my mom freaking out about stuff. Um, but anyway, so um, I guess the first day I moved in, and uh, immediately I met my. Um, Landlord, which was who was really really nice, and also my roommate or my housemate, and um, we started talking and we decided to get lunch and we got to know each other. Um, so right then, I already felt like I knew some I knew some people and I didn't feel as lost and as lonely. Um, then um, I went to work right and uh, met more people. Uh, on my first day to work, uh, I walked by this drama juice and there was this homeless guy like spazzing out on the floor, which was like kind of scary to be honest. And I was like, oh man, is this SF? Um, but yeah, like thankfully people were like rushing over to help him. So I just like rushed to uh, work. Quick side note, um, Yelp is at on New Montgomery Street and they're New Montgomery Street connects with Montgomery, Montgomery Street. So then my first day I walked in the direction of Montgomery Street and I just got totally lost. Uh, but yeah, like the first few days and the first few weeks, it was just getting to know a lot of people and um, just exploring the area with my other intern friends who were all from Canada. So we were all like super new. So um, let's see. So moving to the floor. How do I capitalize on the experience so that my career prog progresses the fastest? Um, I guess we'll get to that later. First of all, I'll just talk about like acclimate, getting acclimated to a new city. Um, but yeah, so so that was Yelp, um, Hulu. Um, after I moved in, I got to know my housemates again, and then. We walked like a mile in the hot sun to get ramen. Um, and yeah, same thing, like I went to work the next day and then got to know the other interns and we explored the area, Santa Monica. My third internship at Google, um, this time I knew my roommate, so um, we sort of just explored the area together, got ramen, same thing. Uh, at Tinder, so the thing is I'm from the LA area and Tinder's in Hollywood, so uh, I just stayed in my room most of the time. I actually didn't get to explore Hollywood, which was kind of weird, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, and I just went home like over the weekends. Um, but Microsoft, um, let's see, the, the first day at Microsoft when I moved in, uh, my housemate moved in before me and um, yeah, the same thing, we got dinner so that you can see like that common theme, right? Um, yeah. Okay, so that's like sort of my 
first experiences with my first few days with with each of my internships. Um, yeah, so I guess as you can see, definitely um, get to know your housemates, um, get lunch or dinner the first day you move in, and um, it's a lot more fun when you aren't like by yourself and you're not lonely. <sighs> okay. I don't know if that's what you wanted. So okay, and then it's like navigating a new city for an internship. Um, I guess Yelp. Yelp's really good. You get to see like the good restaurants in the area. Maybe do some googling. Ask your friends who are already in the area what's there to see. And if there are already friends in the area, then definitely ask to hang out with them, right? Um, if you know nobody, then um, start with your roommate. Then. Um, Start getting to know people in your at work, you know, um, your coworkers, other interns, um, and just explore with them. Uh, I know there's like meetup groups, events, local events where you can also meet people. Um, things to do beforehand. Okay, and then another question was. Uh, so this person's moving to the Bay Area in the spring for internship. How do I capitalize on the experience so that my career progresses the fastest? Um, so if you're doing an internship in the Bay Area, uh, definitely make a lot of connections in your company. Um, that means like getting to know people on your team, but also getting to know the other interns. Um, I think there's this balancing act of having fun and doing good work and I think both are important um, you can't just be working your whole internship you need to have some time for fun and that's one thing I sort of regretted um, like towards the end of my internship for Yelp I think I was just working 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 and I was even skipping lunch and my coworker had to tell me like hey like you don't you shouldn't skip lunch like lunch is important um, yeah, at the same time, keep a journal of uh, your progress. I think I mentioned this in another video, but um, a journal is a really great way to keep track of your progress and also um, write down any questions you may have because as you're navigating a code base, it's pretty, I'm pretty sure it's massive. And uh, it's sort of like understanding this big system. And at first, you're only going to be, um, you're only going to understand pieces of it, you know. And then it's sort of like the pieces sort of grow, and then they start to connect until it finally becomes one big piece that you understand. Um, but before that happens, a really good way of keeping track of these pieces and these questions is through a journal. And then. Um, yeah, then you have all these questions in one place, and when your mentor or manager comes along, um, then you can ask them, right? Otherwise, you'll have a question, and then you'll lose it, and you forget about it, and when your mentor comes, it's like, crap, I forgot my question. Um, yeah, but besides that, uh, definitely, definitely uh, seek out... Um, networking opportunities um, like I said Google had this amazing program called the guru program where you could book one hour of time with another Googler that was like five or ten years in industry and basically you could just pick their brain about anything you know and it doesn't even have to be a Googler uh, I mean it doesn't have to be from the guru program I know Google and Microsoft has programs where you sign up and then um, every week, or twice every week or something, um, they pair you with a full-time engineer so that you can just you know pick their brain and ask them questions. And I think that's just like very valuable because as a college student, um, you only have a limited perspective. You're like in this tiny little bubble, but then when you're actually talking with people in industry, um, you get to like have a sense of the big picture, you know, not just in terms of working, but also in life, which I love. I love having like really deep conversations and asking about like, oh, uh, what's the biggest priority I should have, or um, what do you think about X, Y, and Z? 
so yeah, um, I think that's it. I think that's all that comes to my mind right now. I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I wanted to thank the people, the six people that filled out my Google form. It seems like interview prep and in-depth coding and productivity tips are um, the most popular. Then it's like my internship experience and stories about my life. Seems like no one wants video games, live streams, or more singing videos. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll post those in a separate channel or at least post them with a CS related video because I guess that's where um, this channel is leaning towards. But um, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll leave the Google form again in the description of this video. Um, let me know what you guys like to see and what you guys don't like to see so that um, I can make videos that people like. Because in the end, this, these videos are for you. I'm providing value to my viewers and um, I'm here to serve you. So if, if you want me to help you, then help me help you by filling out the form and letting me know what you wanna see. Cool, so until then, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.